I go home and I, and I can't sleep, my girlfriend's like, you never want to go to bed. And I'm like, I'm honestly don't. I'm always like, I want to go into work and just paint and paint and paint and paint. She comes home, I'm painting, drawing. She's like, damn, you know, there's no time. Like, there isn't no time, honestly. Time is what people make of it, and there's almost like none in mine. <laughs> I'm always trying to keep busy. Like he was always punk rock. I remember this, like, fuck, my cousin was badass, you know? And uh, he took off his shirt to go swimming, and I saw these fucking tattoos on his back. It was crazy. That's when it actually, like, sunk in my head. I was like, this interest in that, that image on his skin that I want on my skin, I want to share with everyone else. I was like, fuck, it's gonna happen. So, like, what do you say to someone that, like, is looking for, like, a cheap tattoo? I mean, it is a customer service that I, that I do for people, but in the same token, um, I'm not a Walmart thrift store fucking swap me like you can't hassle I mean you can't hassle because there's a lot of people doing the same bullshit and hassling down their prices and bringing down the integrity of tattooing but you just got to tell them how it is you know good working cheap cheap working good that's been said with anything else out there you know when especially something that's in your body <laughs> you ain't gonna try to hassle the doctor to bring down the surgery rate you know like go down to Tijuana and get some fucking bullshit and they're having like a scalpel inside you, <laughs> you know? This is something that's gonna last forever. People don't take that in consideration at times. Favorites. Um, Image-wise, that I, I, I that I will never get tired would be like skulls. You know, like we have this thing in tattooing that says, when in doubt, skull it out. It, it, it was awesome, you know, like, you can never go wrong with skulls, especially, I mean, people always think of skulls like, you know, crossbones. I mean, there's so many different ways you can do a skull. Um, Animal heads, animals, women, pretty much anything out there is fucking very, very tattooable. Especially, it, it, it's, it's all in how you design it. You can make, I mean, so one person could design a, uh, a fucking olive branch and make it look like it's just boring, like, oh, you know, it's cool. And then another person could do another one that's just, you know, unique and different about it. Just something very simplistic about it, you know, and, and make it unique in the same token and be, you know, eye-catching, like, wow, that's amazing. I just think a good tattoo is, Super clean, super neat, um, something very solid, and something that the customer will love, definitely. You know, tattooing brought me into that, brought that structure of discipline. I mean, most people say they're artists, but have nothing to show for it. And I felt like my life was nothing but that. I'm an artist, but I had nothing to show for it. Graffiti artists have walls, monuments, people that follow them, things that people could be like, dude, he's a legend because of that. Or, you know, people who've written books, Photographs people have taken are like monumental in a sense just because they're taken and you have something to show for it Like I took this, you know, this I built a portfolio off of this, you know, many different photos an artist should have a Variety of different paintings something. I mean to, to the extent of like you just have to give away paintings that you paint so much That's that's what tattooing has done for me now as a tattooer And I believe as I hope it, as any artist you you have that urge to constantly be learning and never stopping I mean, you never could be, especially, I, I, I want to speak for most artists, but most artists are pretty people who, are, who, who uh, we criticize ourselves way over the top. So we always have to, have to overanalyze anything. And that being said, you always want to constantly be learning and getting better and better. There's never, I mean, there's never a spot where you're going to feel comfortable. I mean, if you are, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're not really an artist then. You're just like, oh, it's cool. It's, it's all right. You want to be mediocre? No, no, no. I'm always criticizing myself to the 10th power, like, this could be better, 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 and just keep going at it more and more, so, honestly, I see myself just traveling, learning more from other people, going to different studios, learning what, how they tattoo, you know, adapt that to my tattooing, um, just little things here and there from other people, uh, tattooing is just, it's almost like a secret society in a sense that there's a lot of things that are not spoken about, I mean, we could tell you this and that, but from, you only will learn from other tattooers and being tattooed by other people. Not gonna let out that secret. No, definitely not. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Mendoza. Um, I'm a modern electric tattooer.